Welcome to the Open Annex How to Video Series. This video is sponsored by Italy by Arbisoft, presented by IS Qureshi, Growth Manager. SCORM, which stands for Shareable Content Object Reference Model, is the typical e-learning standard used by most traditional learning management systems. Although content developed in OpenEdX Studio does not need to be developed in the SCORM format, content that is developed in that format can still be added to an OpenEdX course and be played back for your users. This is especially helpful if you have content from a previous LMS or content library that you would like to include in OpenEdX. Before we get started, one of the SCORM Xbox should be deployed on your OpenEdX instance. For details on how to deploy this or any other Xbox in your OpenEdX instance, we recommend reading the Installing the Xbox documentation available on Read the Docs. For the purposes of this video, we will be working with the Xbox titled edX Xbox SCORM. Once you've deployed the Xbox to your OpenEdX instance, you will need to enable it in your course in OpenEdX Studio. To enable the SCORM XBlock, visit your instance of OpenEdX Studio and find your course. From there, click Settings and then click Advanced Settings. Scroll down to the first section named Advanced Module List and add edX XBlock SCORM to the list and click Save. This will enable the SCORM XBlock as an advanced module inside of your course. Now we'll return to the course outline. Click on the course unit that you want to add the SCORM component to. If the edX XBlock SCORM is the first advanced module or XBlock that you've added to your course, you will see the advanced module button as a component on your course units. When you click that button, you will see SCORM as an option. Click it to add an empty SCORM component to the unit. Click the edit button. Here you can see the settings for your SCORM component. You can optionally provide a display name for this particular component. And next, you will have to upload your SCORM file. This should be a zip file and can be exported from your previous LMS or content library. And remember, there may be a file size limit. From there, you can add settings to the scored field. SCORM packages have the ability to capture scores and grades like exams, certifications, and quizzes, for example. And if your SCORM package captures users' numerical scores and you want to have that reflected in OpenEdX, set scored to true. If you mark that field false, the Xbox will still track whether the user completed the SCORM package. Now you can, can configure the size of your SCORM package frame. First is the displayed width, and the recommended size is 100%. Next is the display height in pixels. And finally, the option to open in a pop-up, which allows your learners to access and interact with a SCORM package separately from the rest of your open edX course. To preview your SCORM course, click preview or publish your unit and click view live. That's all it takes. You have now enabled a SCORM X block inside of your course. Before publishing your unit, you can quickly use the studio view of the problem or the LMS to view and edit the component, or you can click publish and preview the component as a learner back inside of your course.